everyone, Rachel here today talking to Michael Minier. Michael handles our inside sales for Artsway. We want to show you our 660 combo building. 660 means that in half of this building, it allows for 60 piglets in the nursery area, and our other half of the building is a farrowing side, which allows for up to six sows to be farrowed at a time. Michael, what is the biggest benefits of having a building of this combination? We developed this building so that we are able to have a dedicated farrowing house and nursery under the same roof. This allows for a seamless transition and it's much more convenient for the people who are working in it. We're currently standing on the farrowing side of this building. You want to show us the layout of this room? This room has six farrowing crates and as you can see there's a walkway down the center with farrowing crates on both sides. It has a cast iron slatted floor to accommodate the weight of the cell. We've also included a drip line above each crate to keep the cell cool during the summer months. Michael, want to talk a little bit about these unique Artsway farrowing crates? We developed our own farrowing crate. It's completely stainless steel and it provides comfort for both the pigs and the people working with it. Could you give us more detail about the adjustability of these crates? Our farrowing crate has three length adjustments and four width adjustments to fit nearly any cell. What would you say is the most unique feature about your farrowing crates? Our farrowing crate opens up so that when you're done farrowing, you're actually able to reuse that same space as a nursery. So we've already touched on how these farrowing crates provide more comfort for the sow, but we haven't talked about the benefit of loss for the piglets. Might we want to expand on that? The angle of the crate inside the pen allows for more cream space than a traditional farrowing crate. We place outlets above each crate for conveniently located heat lamps and cameras. Additionally, our water cups are at a good level for both the sow and the piglets. And our laid on bars provide additional protection for the piglets. So what are some of the general features of this building? Our fiberglass seamless interior is like a bathtub. This allows you to power wash and clean your building out with no risk of water or any other moisture deteriorating the structure of the building. This is one of the main reasons why our buildings have a very long lifespan. We are always striving to make our buildings more user friendly. Each animal room comes with a built-in soaker system. When you've emptied out your animals and you're ready to wash it down, you simply turn on the soaker system, leave for 30 minutes to an hour, come back, and your entire room is already soaked down, which makes that cleaning process much more simple. Under each room, there is a self-contained pit. The pit holds enough waste for about one round of farrowing. Once you've taken the pigs out of the room and you wash the building out, there's a scraper system that pulls all the waste down to pull plug at the end of the building. From there, the pull plug is pumped through the bottom of the floor to make it very easy to remove the waste from the building. As you can see, we are now on the nursery side of this building. Do you want to talk a little bit about the layout of this side of the building? So in our nursery, we have six separate pens. So when you bring your pigs over from the farrowing side, each litter has its own pen. We have Vitito feeders with Vitito gating, and each pen also has its own water. One thing we really pride ourselves on here at Artsway is our ventilation system in our hog buildings. You want to talk a little bit about what all that consists of? Yeah, so our ventilation system starts with our ECS3 controller. Here we're able to monitor our temperature and humidity. From there, the controller will then control the variable speed fans. We also see other benefits from the controller, such as being able to ramp up and down temperatures to better acclimate animals to the outside temperature. We're currently standing in the preheat room, which is located directly between our nursery side of our building and on the farrowing side of this building. This room is the key to our ventilation system. So ventilation starts with our cool cell. Here, all the air must come in to get into the building. It's called a cool cell because it's evaporative cooling, which is water running through these pads. This allows our inside temperature to be about 10 degrees cooler than outside during the summer. During the winter, we have an adjustable curtain, which allows you to restrict the amount of air coming in. During the cold months, when the air comes into the preheat room, it is heated by our 60,000 BTU LB white heater. From there, when that air moves into the other rooms, it is pre-tempered and you don't have raw air dropping down on the pigs. In this configuration, we use our attic as our ductwork. So above me, you'll see a graded ceiling. This is where air enters into the attic and is then distributed into the other rooms. In each room, we have our humidity and temperature probe. 
This is what our ECS controller uses to monitor and then control the temperature in each room. In each room, the air moves from the attic down into the room through these inlets. This inlet has four sides to it, so it's going to move air into each corner. Our louvers are positioned so it's going to pinch air and move it further across so you don't have cold air dropping down on the pigs. During the summer, we can put our louvers in so that way it allows more air to drop down the pigs to help them stay cool. As you saw in the preheat room, we've already pre-tempered the air before it's come into this room. But now that it is in the room, we have an additional 60,000 BTU LBY heater that our controller can now closely monitor to the exact set point that you want it at. Here we have our fans that are pulling air out of the building. All of our fans are variable speed, which are operated by our controller. Here we have our minimum fan, which will be running at all times. During the summer, once we're trying to move more air through the building, our summer fan will kick on for additional air movement. In addition to our ceiling inlet, we also have our wall inlet. During the summer months, when you have a lot more fan power pulling air through the room, these will open up and allow air to tunnel through. Michael, can you tell us about the configurations of combination buildings that we offer here? So we offer combination buildings as small as the 660 that we saw here up to a 16 Fahrenheit 160 head nursery combination. We also offer our fairing sites in either our angle fairing crate or a more traditional rear load fairing crate. Thank you all for tuning in today. Michael, do you have any last words? So as we discussed, the major benefits you'll see with one of our buildings is the comfort it provides the animals, the comfort it provides for the people who are working in the building, and the longevity you'll be receiving with your investment. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. Uh, you can visit artsway-scientific.com uh, to get more information on this building or even get a quote on the building that would fit your operation best.